Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, the live cop lesbi- Wait a sec, I can't even make that joke anymore. Like, I mean, I do still look like Ellen DeGeneres as you all pointed out to me in my last video, but I have to come up with like a new nickname for myself on the channel. So you guys gotta help me out in the comments. Do your worst, like honestly roast the shit out of me. Um, but that's not the focus of the video today. Um, what's going on everyone? We're going to be going through a ton of Supreme Orders I have. This is the second time I've recorded this video. So you will see a few items like out of their wrapping already. I recorded this yesterday of course my file corrupted like nice. so that was super sick but we're gonna do it even better today smash the like if you all enjoy and thank you just everyone for all the love on my last video me donating my hair I know I've been gone for like several days I took off like almost a week from YouTube and just social media in general but we are back it's time to get to the action. I have a lot of content for you all this summer. Supreme is finally over. We will do some videos wrapping up the season very soon, including everything I bought from the season. Today we just have like all my tea week orders, except for a couple that my girlfriend has at her house. So let's just get into this video. I hope you all enjoy. Drop a subscription and hit me up on Instagram if you wanna join my little Discord, and let's get into it. So I guess I'm gonna start this video off with the two shirts I already took out of their wrapping. I'm so excited about these pickups like let me know what you all thought of this tea release I honestly thought it was such a killer one like I thought they just killed the game I don't think we've gotten that good of a tea release since like SS18 with the Mona Lisa tea and all those other bangers this was such a great way to end off this season so starting it off oh my Bella Lugosi like y'all know how badly I wanted this to release um, even like just the Bella Lugosi rayon and towel I was going crazy over I was so excited about that design Bella Lugosi is from the very old Dracula movie. The reason I love this design so much is I watched this movie with my dad a few times growing up. So it just brings back nostalgia. Also, like that print is so fire. You cannot tell me that's not a dope little like image with the Supreme spell out. It looks like it's straight out of like a horror movie. I mean, it is. So that's my kind of shit. So I'm gonna have to put this on body right now. So bang, there we have it. Um, I think it's such a cool t-shirt. The only issue I have is as you can see, like there's this huge blank kind of black area where it has like Dracula's like clothes and stuff it just makes the shirt feel a little off-centered that's my only like critique I might end up loving this more and more as time goes on but like in person it definitely looks a lot better um, with that whole black area but let me know what you guys thought of this Bella t-shirt probably my favorite tee that released uh, actually it's hard to say because the dynamite t-shirt is so fire I need to get my dynamite tee from my girlfriend she copped it for me it's at her house but let's move on um, Starting off with the Bella, but next up we have what everyone is interested in. Y'all don't care about no Dracula shit. I get it. Buju Bonton, Bonton, like I don't know how to say homie's name still. Like I'm such a fake fan. I mean, I'm not even a fan of this dude, but like I feel like I should at least be able to pronounce his name by now. Buju Bonton, I think, is how you say it. Feel free to correct me if I'm still saying it wrong. Um, but this shirt's very interesting to me. This is the first photo tee that's actually been an official photo tee without like a white backdrop. Maybe he's at Disney World or something. Who knows? But um, I think it's super funny. It, this image looks so altered if you look at the box logo. Ago. I realized this when I looked at the sticker like it looks like they edited on the shirt or something They definitely edited on this logo So I wonder what the original picture was of this it could have been like my man Buju just with no shirt nipping it up Who knows all right? I'm back I had to go do some stuff with my mom real fast, but we have to continue this video. Look at the backside of this shirt. The handwriting, just cursive all over this is gorgeous. Buju, my man's like, you went off. I already know Supreme Workers are watching him just write and write and write, and they're just like, damn, bro, like, that's a lot of printing ink this homie spent. So I'm super hyped I picked up this shirt. Photo tee collection coming so soon, I cannot wait. I actually have some new photo tees on the way as well for that video, but let's continue into some other orders I got. So we're gonna go to my favorite item from this release, which was the Supreme Mocha Express by Bialetti. Bialetti, I don't even know how to say that shit, but here it is. I actually had it already out because the second I got this in the mail, I had to peep game. The shipping on these was not too good. Like they only put it in this cardboard box. There wasn't any protecting or anything like 
like that. So I saw some people that got some chips and like the white text on theirs. I was super nervous, but look at that. It's perfect condition. There is a little scratch on the backside. I hate to be that person. I don't even know if you can see it, but like right here, there's a scratch on the back, which really is nothing. I'm not that mad about it. We do have the branding of the Mocha Express Maker on the back of this. Of course, the Supreme on the front. This thing is so cool. I definitely think you'll see me using this in a video eventually. I already got like the cups and everything. So your boy's really just about to be sipping the most bougie breakfast drink of all time. Let's go. I'm so excited about this. And they're actually doing really well on StockX, which makes me super happy. I've heard this is a discontinued model from Bialetti or however the fuck you say it. So that's crazy if it is. It does say 2016 on the inside of this. So like that's kind of wild. I guess these might have been made back then. Shout out my girlfriend for cooking that up for me. She is the goat. But let's keep going. Next up, we have my Supreme Reaper t-shirt. And I'm actually not going to take this one out. Uh, I just like, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one, to be honest. I do really like it, but I want to get the Dark Sage colorway. I prefer that color a lot more than just black. I don't want to have like 50 black t-shirts, but that is such a banger shirt. Let me know your favorite t-shirt from the release down below. I'm thinking the Dynamite tee, Bella, as well as the Photo tee are my top three, but the Dynamite and Bella just go way too crazy. Um, speaking of the Bella, we have another an XL. Really nothing too crazy. I'm literally wearing this shit, like who cares? Um, so now we're gonna go into, so actually I have one more cool shirt to show you guys. One more of the Buju tees. This is in clay, um, size medium, and my girlfriend also cooked one of these side by side. We cooked photo tees, like that's so legendary. I'm so proud of her for that, but um, I have my other clay Buju at her house, so I'm gonna show you guys that later. I low key prefer the clay colorway to the white. I just think it's a nicer color, doesn't get dirty as easily. So now now let's go into my brick t-shirt order and Supreme absolutely bodied the kid bro like I'm so beefing about this I've been buying Supreme for so many years just waiting for them to screw up an order somehow like I see so many instances of items getting broken or damaged or having some kind of issue with them I've always just been blessed to never have an issue with the Supreme item until today bro Supreme wrecked one of my items they absolutely bodied it I'm super over exaggerating right now i'll show you guys we have the shears tee in pink size xl first off boone why'd what? you even buy this t-shirt i don't know bro supreme really made me question that with this marking they put on the tee as you can hopefully see there's a big black mark on the shirt and there's a little one here just this whole like part of the collar got bodied i don't know by what it's really not that bad at all maybe it could even wash off but i'm just kind of sad you know you buy a shirt brand new for 40 fucking bucks it's a brick ass shear and then it ends up having a stain on it that's unfortunate i guess like i can't be too mad i've been buying supreme for so long this is the only like thing they've really ever messed up for me so it sucks but let's keep moving i'm not gonna complain because we have some other bricks to show off you guys know that's my favorite we have the supreme cloud tea I don't even know why I bought this again. Like this is gonna get raffled on Seattle Select. I do know why I bought it to show off and shit, but I mean, it is a really stupid t-shirt. Like literally, what is this supposed to be, bro? It looks like some poo poo or something. I don't even know. Like it's so bad. It's just such a terrible shirt. And finally to end off our brick orders, another brick. So we have the, uh, it gets better every time shirt. I think that's the name of it. It's just got some naked chick here. I'll show you the sticker version of it. You're not missing out on much. It's really like a weird ass design. I don't even know, like Supreme just comes up with some weird concepts on their tees. Sometimes you love it. Most of the time you hate it. This one I was not feeling. So that's every t-shirt I got. Um, now all I have left to show you all is the stickers. So I got pretty blessed on the stickers and it seemed like almost everyone just got a shitload of these photo tee stickers. For those that don't know, like photo tee stickers used to be a lot more rare. Just getting one from a release was like, that was something to be grateful for. But now Supreme is just printing these shits like they're Pokemon cards. Like I think I ended up getting a total of five of these Buju, maybe four of the Buju stickers that's like actually so fucking insane like that's so many um, I can't remember another season where they gave out that many photo tee stickers so here's like four of them in the sticker packs with the boojus I think you could either get the cloud sticker or the stupid ass it gets better every time sticker um, both of these stickers really suck ass so you'd be taking an L getting either of them but this buju sticker does make up for it it does also have the backside to it which is dope um, we also got the shears sticker they just had to like tease me a little more they're like oh you got the shears t give them the shears sticker 
I'm actually not mad about this sticker. I do like stickers from Supreme that have a different like body to them. They're not just a normal like rectangle or something. Uh, so that's dope. I mean, they plugged on the sticker packs. They also did give me one of the pins. You know me, I got a little pin collection. So this was an essential, really cool pin. I wish I'd gotten more. Like I only got one pin, which kind of sucks, but I do have three orders left at my girlfriend's house. You will see them later. That's the video. Um, I know I've been just so inactive with YouTube, but just wait on it. I got two sponsored videos coming up this next week. I'm also about to link up with Jacob like so soon. I swear to God, I'm going to LA. Like I got so many cool videos on the way. I cannot wait. Drop us up if you want to stick around. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to be way more active this next week. I'm out. Peace. If I went down again, would you get